Hi guys, I'm back with another arcade repair video and uh, today we're going to try to fix this arcade monitor which um, uh, I got out of a Sega cabinet. It's a 27 inch CRT monitor and um, well the game was actually in, uh, is actually in pretty bad shape and uh, the monitor isn't working right but it has a very distinctive problem which I uh, absolutely wanted to show you because um, it's um, actually a quite common problem uh, with arcade monitors and um, it's fairly easy um, to fix and the problem uh, that I'm referring to is uh, called uh, a vertical collapse and uh, well I'm going to try um, to show you what a vertical collapse is and um, how to fix um, this problem uh, on this monitor and uh, as always the purpose of all of this is um, to maybe help you with your own uh, arcade repairs and troubleshooting so uh, but enough talk so let's fire up the monitor and uh, take a look at the picture that we get okay to test the arcade monitor I use my uh, test pattern generator uh, that I have over here it's a very uh, neat tool you don't need an extra power supply, it uh, works uh, with a battery and it generates uh, several test images which you can, uh, which you can uh, toggle uh, with uh, this little push button over here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, that's not a big deal. You can always, of course, use a regular uh, arcade PCB with um, a picture source uh, to test your monitor. So, okay, let's look at the monitor and what it does if I power it up. What we would actually be supposed to see would be a um, the starting screen of the test pattern generator, which is a sort of a, a checkerboard screen, which um, isn't quite displayed correctly, as you can see here. Oh. Well, that was just a short glimpse. Uh, what you could see here, actually, a second ago, was a, a wide horizontal line. And of, after a short while, there was a ticking sound and uh, the picture went black again. And that's all that the uh, monitor actually does at the moment. Okay, I already uh, mentioned that I think that uh, this is the case of a vertical collapse. Uh, well, what does vertical collapse uh, actually mean? Well, um, to actually um, get an image on the screen uh, in this type of monitor, um, there's an electron beam that is coming from uh, the end of the uh, tube, uh, the end of the neck over here. There are, um, there's an electron gun and the electrons are uh, being fired toward the screen uh, which is uh, charged uh, positively uh, by the by the A node and um, well for the electron beam to get to every uh, part of the screen it needs to be deflected and it is go it is uh, being deflected by the yoke which is um, this part um, on the neck of the tube right here, which is basically lots of copper windings which um, can deflect um, the electron beam uh, in two uh, ways. Uh, one component is uh, horizontal and one component is uh, vertical deflection. And there's uh, actually, as you can see, two sets of wires coming from the yoke. There's a yellow and a green wire, which is um, uh, connected to the windings for the uh, vertical deflection and there's a red and a blue wire coming from the other side which um, is used for the uh, horizontal deflection and um, well I think the uh, monitor is actually working quite right uh, <coughs> it is actually um, drawing uh, trying to draw the picture correctly that it is getting from the test pad and generator uh, but unfortunately um, it, had, it has lost somehow um, the ability to deflect the electron beam vertically so it's drawing the whole picture in, uh, in one line and it's drawing in the same line over and over again so uh, the checkerboard actually <laughs> because it's um, for every line it's um,
getting projected to the same line on the screen, uh, it's actually uh, resulting in one uh, white line uh, that we um, that we are able to see uh, on the screen. Okay, maybe we can even uh, better confirm this uh, theory by selecting a different test picture. Uh, there is one test picture with which has um, red, green, blue bars and a white bar uh, on the screen and I think it is the, th uh, the fourth uh, test picture so I will select it and we are going to turn on the screen again and um, while well, the picture looks again looks like this that there is four uh, vertical bars in four different colors and uh, with the, the vertical collapse we should actually see um, a horizontal line in the middle of the screen which has uh, which also has the four colors uh, red green uh, blue and white uh, next to each other so and let's see if uh, we actually get what we s suspect okay well I think you could see it so well, yes, that seems to be the problem. So, um, I guess as the next step, we are going to um, remove the uh, chassis uh, from the monitor and uh, we'll take a look at it and go uh, through the steps necessary to fix the issue. Okay, we got the uh, uh, chassis out of the uh, uh, monitor and on the table uh, here and uh, the part I'm looking at here is actually uh, the circuitry for the vertical deflection um, uh, how do I know that? Uh, well um, it's pretty uh, simple really um, this monitor is a uh, by the way this is a, a Nanao MS929SU um, which I don't really have any good uh, readable schematics for but nevertheless you can tell that this uh, part here uh, will be the circuitry for the uh, vertical deflection because uh, you have this connector here on the PCB and this is where the uh, yellow and green wires from the uh, vertical yoke uh, are being connected and uh, next uh, to this uh, connector you will very uh, often find um, an IC which uh, looks like this, which is uh, multi-legged. Uh, this IC I think has uh, 13 legs and it's, um, it's always um, connected to a bigger heatsink like in this case and this is called the vertical IC and this vertical IC actually directly powers um, the vertical yoke windings, so the vertical yoke windings are directly connected to this IC and if you have a, uh, a vertical collapse, excuse me, then uh, this, is, uh, the, uh, this is the place uh, to look. The vertical IC is highly suspicious uh, uh, to have uh, failed in the circuit. So uh, we are not going to waste much time uh, measuring anything um, on this uh, PCB we're actually g just going ahead uh, and uh, we're going to replace the vertical IC and uh, most of the times we will be actually successful with this um, another thing that I will probably do is uh, that I'm going to uh, replace um, some of the uh, capacitors around uh, this area um, especially the ones that are connected to the uh, vertical deflection circuit um, and that is because um, I actually had a case of another uh, monitor in the past where um, the, the vertical IC didn't uh, actually fail primarily on its own but uh, it actually failed um, because uh, there was problems uh, with the capacitors which were leaking um, and uh, which were losing um, their uh, capacitance values uh, uh, over time 
it's a well-known problem, uh, the aging of uh, capacitors. And um, in an analog circuit like this, if uh, a capacitor uh, changes uh, significantly in uh, value, this can actually lead to other components to fail. So um, what happened in the earlier repair was that I replaced the vertical IC and that the monitor actually worked again. But after five minutes, uh, the, the new vertical IC was actually uh, uh, damaged again because there was a problem with the... Um, with the um, capacitors in the circuit. So we will just now uh, go ahead, replace a few caps uh, around this area, replace the vertical IC. All these parts um, are very cheap and uh, very easy to get. It won't take much time to do this job either. And um, after we replaced all this, we are going to put the chassis back in, uh, fire the monitor up and see if we uh, fixed it. Okay, so I already removed uh, all of the electrolytic uh, capacitors in the area around the uh, um, uh, vertical IC um, and I already re replaced some of them uh, which I marked with a little black dot uh, on the uh, top so uh, that I can uh, later remember which um, capacitors I already uh, replaced and I removed the uh, vertical IC itself uh, which was here attached to the heat sink uh, always looks um, kind of like this um, attached to the heat sink with uh, multiple legs in this case more than 10 legs um, and it's in this case it's an LA7837 just a few bucks uh, on eBay I ordered a new one and um, I ordered some more uh, capacitors because I was missing some uh, particular values, uh, so I replace uh, uh, those and uh, of course uh, the vertical IC when I um, get them in the mail. Okay, so I uh, did receive the uh, replacement vertical IC in the mail and I already uh, uh, put it in and uh, all the caps are replaced. So um, I'm ready to hook the chassis uh, back up to the tube um, and go for a test. So I put the chassis back in and um, I already turned on the uh, test pattern generator. So I guess here's the moment of truth. Let's see what we get. Haha! <laughs> nice! Yeah, it seems to work perfectly. Vertical collapse is gone, obviously. Nice. There's a bit of a color issue in the upper left corner, but I guess if uh, I would degauss the screen, this issue would actually disappear. Yeah, it's a bit green up there colors are wrong but that's okay that's not not an issue so but uh, the screen seems to be back alive very nice okay let's just quickly check if we can get uh, rid of this discoloration with the um, degaussing ring Well, looks like this fixed it. So great result. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you got a, a monitor like this and uh, you have a problem of uh, vertical collapse, as you saw, it's not uh, very difficult to fix and it's a very uh, common problem. So again, I hope this helps. If you like the video, uh, press a thumbs up, uh, leave, a, leave a comment. And uh, of course, uh, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.